Okay, so here we are again. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm Joan. And I'm Kim. And we're the Stewarts, and we are all over the place. This is week five of owning our Jayco Hummingbird trailer, and we are in the third Louisiana park since we've owned it. Um, but we've been out four weeks. We went to one park twice. Um, so we are trying to figure out what we need, what we don't need, how to be efficient, how to back the trailer into the parking place, although Ken is way better at that than I am. <laughs> um, so here we are in uh, Lake Bruin State Park in Louisiana, St. Joseph, Louisiana, affectionately called St. Joe. And um, I just blanked out. You, you want to talk okay, about sure, St. Joe? Sure. <laughs> <laughs> well, St. Joseph, or St. Joe as they call it, is a, uh, the county seat of Tinsaw Parish, which is a great big agricultural parish here in the uh, Louisiana Delta. And uh, the Mississippi River is at flood stage right now, so it's really kind of an interesting area to be in. It doesn't seem to affect Lake Bruin except for some seepage that comes in around the uh, on the ground that makes it goofy, as they told us. <clears throat> but all in all, is great. There's plenty of dry camping places, and that's not a, a problem. The lake's a good fishing lake. There's lots of guys here that with their boats, and uh, that seems to be what you need to bring when you come to Lake Bruin. Um, good little restaurant down the street called uh, Fish Tales, and it's a good country store too. But we had good food, and um, have been enjoying being here. It's, um, That's kind of the cool thing about this trip is that we've been seeing Louisiana through new eyes. Um, Ken was born in California, spent a lot of his life in California, or at least some childhood, some adolescence. I'm deep south born and bred, but it's, so it's been really interesting because we've had to kind of stay close to home due to work schedules, etc. It's been interesting to see Louisiana as if we were not Louisianians. And the, the scenery is beautiful, the wildlife is incredible, the water is everywhere. Um, we saw alligators and raccoons and trees yesterday. <laughs> uh, heard an owl earlier, in which I'm sure you can hear anywhere, but um, it's pretty exciting to sort of see our state through other people's eyes and, our, and with new eyes of our own. Well, I'm kind of looking for some of those places that we've never been, even though it's not that far from home. And this is one of those areas that uh, I've never come to before. Uh, I've driven through, but never stayed, spent any time here. And uh, we went to one of the um, state uh, historical sites here in Louisiana, the Winter Quarters, which is, I won't go into the story about that, but you can look that up. And uh, that's how we ended up seeing the alligators because both Apple Maps and Google Maps took us to the wrong place. And we ended up driving down the top of the levee uh, with the flood stage Mississippi River on one side and giant uh, soybean fields on the other side being worked by tractors and so on. So it was kind of an interesting time to sit up there and watch the alligators. And these were big alligators, 10, 12 foot alligators they would be stunning on the, the edge of the levee and then they'd see us and they would make a tremendous splash and take off so it's a um, it's an interesting part of louisiana and especially when the water is as high to be here so it's uh, um, and culturally be. different from um fairview riverside which is where we were a couple of weeks ago in lafayette this time. i got it right <laughs> <laughs> which is where we were a couple of weeks ago in lafayette the cultures are very different in that part of the state and this part of the state and so you know a lot of people who've never been to louisiana go oh do you have alligators in your backyard well no we don't but there's enough water around that if you want to see an alligator you can probably go yep. find one <laughs> so um we live in Baton Rouge near Louisiana State University, and we actually live on a small lake, and there is reputed to be an alligator in that lake. We've, well, we've seen, seen it maybe one, once yeah. or twice. <laughs> <laughs> but we're looking forward to seeing some other places too. Um, but we're really excited to share this time with you. Um, as, uh, as we've said, we're kind of all over the place, so I'm going to really 
the guys can quit listening at this point in time, but one of the things that I'm really sort of trying to figure out now is like wardrobe and makeup for efficiency. I want to like only pack the minimal amount of stuff, only pack the minimal amount of makeup, if any, and trying to figure out the bug spray and the wasp spray and the ant spray. <laughs> How many of those things do we need? So it's a great experiment and adventure. Right. We felt pretty comfortable this weekend and always had a couple of things we wish we had with us, but it was things like a broom. You know, we just don't think about things like that until you get here. So anyway. Right. <coughs> um, and I need the broom so that I can dust off the picnic table so that I can actually put my yoga mat on it and maybe do a few stretches because although we're walking a lot, I'm not getting my yoga class in here. So I'm trying to figure that out. So, <laughs> <laughs> Welcome if, to our world. <laughs> if you enjoy boating and want to see a different part of Louisiana, come to Lake Bruin. It's uh, a lot of interesting things around here. It's uh, 45 minutes or so south of Monroe and Vicksburg and uh, about the same north of Natchez and Vidalia and Faraday. So it's kind of in the central part of the state. Like I said, lots of cotton fields. I'm sure they'll be beautiful in next fall when the uh, cotton is ripe. But Oh yeah, we, did we out, say so. that? We're here in March. End of March right, is what this is right now. The trees are just beginning to green a little bit. Right. Last week we were in full spring in Baton Rouge and we're about 120 miles north and it was about a week and a half behind, but just in the week we've been here, it's turned very, very green, or the few days we've been here, it's turned very green, and uh, it'll all be in, leased out here pretty quick. That's so, traveling mercies to you all.